76 year old male here for pain basically at the bottom of the left calcaneus going on for um, about well, we could say about a year or so um, I'm worse kind of when he sits for a while uh, on exam it's really he's mostly tender here at the bottom of the calcaneus although he also has pain at the medial process of the calcaneal tuberosity so we're kind of worried about just chronic plantar fasciitis as the main etiology for his pain. Can you just like point your toes like that? Thanks. The ultrasound of the bottom of the heel is challenging just because the tissue is so thick. You really have to press hard to get a good view of the, um, of the plantar fascia. We're going to go over foot anatomy, focusing essentially on the plantar aspect of the foot, although in this initial images we're seeing the dorsal aspect of the foot. Here we are again going to the plantar aspect where you can see the three bands of the plantar fascia, which are the central, the lateral, and the medial bands. Also, you can know some of the vasculature, the medial lateral plantar arteries and veins and nerves as well on the medial aspect of the ankle. Now, we remove the plantar fascia, we can see the flexor digitorum brevis muscle, which is the main muscle underneath the plantar fascia. With that muscle removed, you can see the quadratus plantae muscle, as well as the abductor digitorum minimi muscle as well, which is essentially at the same level as the flexor digitorum brevis. Now we're removing the quadratus plantar muscle. You can see the long plantar ligament underneath that. You can appreciate the complicated musculature on the plantar aspect of the midfoot going into the forefoot. You can see all the different lubrical muscles, which are essentially attached to the tendons of the flexor digitorum longus muscle. You can appreciate the adductor hallucis muscle with the oblique and transverse heads. And also you can appreciate the deep plantar arch. Here's a good view of perineus longus tendon as it wraps around from the lateral aspect of the foot and going medially to insert at the base of the first metatarsal the medial cuneiform. Here again is a good view of that perineus longus tendon again with the deep plantar arch and the adductor hallucis muscle. Now we're bringing back the flexor digitorum longus and bringing back some of the other musculature on the foot and here's flexor digitorum brevis and now here is normal plantar fascia so this patient has plantar fasciitis pretty much moderate um, towards the uh, origin of the plantar fascia which you can appreciate here labeled number one you see how it's erythematous thickened somewhat boggy and this is uh, where most people get tender and they have plantar fasciitis. Clip at 1044, we can see a kind of mild to moderately thickened, more moderately thickened plantar fascia. There may be some intrasubstance tearing as well. Um, a little bit of calcification noted in the plantar fascia here on this clip um, at 1045. Um, now we're just going distally. Again, it's pretty dark. That's just the way, unfortunately, uh, Plantar, you know, the uh, tissue appears on the bottom of the foot just because there's so much thick tissue to get through. So we can here's another clip. A little calcification there, but then the, here we are, 1046. Again, you can see some moderate thickening um, of that origin of the plantar fascia. We're going to look at it now from a short access perspective. Right side of the screen is going to be medial. So again, you see the calcaneus, see some of the plantar fascia above that. Distally, you can start seeing some of the flexor digitorum brevis muscle come into play. Intrasubstance tearing within the fascia, which is almost a part of tendinosis, really. Um, she, Daddy, so pretty. we're pushing, you can see some of that heel fat pad going over the plantar fascia. Intrasubstance tearing within it. 1048 looking at the plantar fascia. Again, you can appreciate some 1049.